is. A taxi? Taxi? I could swim faster. A camouflage net. Holy moly! Do you see what I see? I see it, but I don't believe it. Let's check it out. Wonder what the space shuttle's doing here. I don't know, Mike. Maybe we better not. What are you scared of? Somebody just left it sitting here. Well, the door works. Good. Now open it. Uh-oh. We're in trouble now. It's stuck. The door won't move. Mr. Sector! Please, Mr. Sector, you've got to come. Mike's trapped in there. Sounds like a pretty incredible story, Osk. I know, but... But it's not an impossible one. Cape Canaveral isn't that far away. We'll use my airboat. Come on. I've got it now, Mike. Come on up. Whew. Saved. Thank you. You boys wait here. I'll be right back. Cooking with T-Bob. Ah, I can see it now. My own gourmet cooking show. Got you now, Red Baron. Oh, no, you don't. Watch this. T-Bob, wait! That's my plane! Hmm. Oh, it looks pretty well done to me. You fried my biplane, T-Bob. Funny. I don't remember the Red Baron being a short order cook. Oh, I'm a tall order cook. Thank you. <laughs> it's a call from Alex. Matt, I'm out in the Everglades, and I've just waded into something very unusual. A full-size mock-up of the space shuttle, built completely out of plywood. I think this deserves a closer inspection. I'll be right there. Well, so the Red Baron and Tall Order Cook want to explore the Everglades. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your gear and head for Thunderhawk. All, All right. right! It's a complete fake, Matt. The outer skin is the only area detailed enough to fool anyone flying over it. But why build a mock-up of the space shuttle and then dump it in the middle of the Everglades? A shuttle in the Everglades? Do you know what they're talking about? Mike and I found it. Later on, when the grown-ups are done fooling with it, we'll check it out. Gentlemen, we have a go for the shuttle pre-launch ignition test. Lockdown is released. Security system has been deactivated. Confirm. Confirm, Shadow. You've done your part. Now we'll do ours. You're right, Alex. It's just like you said. A complete fake, like a space-age Trojan horse. Outside, quick! What the...? Huh? went up in smoke. I had a feeling Venom was involved in this. We've got to get Dagger off our trail, then call the team. 
Come on out and play, boys! Distracted. I think I can use this smoke to our advantage. Come on, chap! Over here! Thought I saw something move! Can't see a darn thing! A quick freight job will do the trick. <laughs> Have a nice trip, Dagger. Hmm. Looks like something over there. Better check it out. What's going on here? I can't stop! Ah! Mayhem to Dagger. What happened, Dagger? Answer me. Dagger here? No sign of those intruders, Mayhem. They're long gone. Boy, did I scare him up. Then meet us at the Cape. The shuttle will soon be ours. On my way. So, Venom's after the real shuttle. Blighters must have an inside man at the Cape. We've got to warn somebody quick. Too bad we can't fly this mock-up out of here. It's a long walk back to the reptile farm. Come on, Scott. We've got lots of neat junk back here. Hey, T-Bob. Look at this. Maybe I can modify you just a little. Not quite a stroll through Trafalgar Square. For the Everglades, this is Central Park, Alex. Let's rest a little bit. Maybe we'll make it before dark. Snake! Darn thing bit me! Just stay calm and don't move. Too tight? That should slow the spread of poison. Boy, that hurt. Alex, was that snake lethal? Yes. We don't have much time. Anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours. And the snake bite kit was in the airboat. Then we'd better get moving. I'm already feeling a little dizzy. That space shuttle shouldn't be too hard to find. What's that? Scott, thank goodness you're here. Hurry! Dad! I can't go any further, Alex. Awful fever. There's not much time, Scott. Your dad's been bitten by a poisonous snake. I need you two to get back to the reptile farm as fast as you can. We need the antitoxin. Better yet, T-Bob could carry him back. He's too weak to hold on, Scott. My arm. Can't feel my arm. Then use my radio and call ahead for the serum. Okay. This is Alex Sector, code 1229. Thunderhawk computer, activate. Ready to receive. Go ahead. Route this through your loudspeaker. Attention, Oscar Mike. Emergency. Please respond. This is Mike. We read you. Over. Mike, go to the medicine cabinet and get the snake bite kit with a vial of snake serum. Scott and T-Bob will pick it up and lead your airboat back here. I know exactly where it is, Mr. Sector. We'll be ready. Thunderhawk computer, code 1330. Computer, recommend personnel best suited for this mission. Dr. Julio Lopez, essential to monitor team leader tracker. Vehicle code name Firefly. Dusty Hayes, all terrain specialist. Vehicle code name Gator. Well adapted to marshy areas of Everglades. Ace Riker, pilot, space missions expert. Working knowledge of shuttle spacecraft. 
Vehicle code name Slingshot. Alex Sector pre selected. Will replace Matt Tracker as mission leader. Vehicle code name Rhino. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. I'd like you to meet our contact on this mission, Major David Krauss. This is Call Central, the brain to our mission control system. You'll be able to override the shuttle test program from here. Then it's up to you, Vanessa. You've only got one shot to fly that baby out of here. One mistake, and it'll be a short trip for all of us. You have nothing to worry about, Major. When I buy someone, I buy the best. That includes pilots. Or security chiefs. I'm about to steal the most powerful flying fortress ever created. With it, no one will be able to stop me. Not even Mask. Scott, T-Bob, over here. Have you guys got that antitoxin? You go on ahead, Scott. T-Bob's twice as fast as this old thing. Mike and I'll follow. Thanks. Come on, T-Bob. We've got to save Dad. That shot should do the trick, Matt. Just try to relax. Just what I needed. Nurse T-Bob. Maybe this will cool down that fever a little. Hey, Alex. I think that shot's working. Scott. How'd you get here? Venom's got the better of me, for once. Quite. Now, Mr. Tracker, your taxi service is here. But what about the shuttle, the team? Everything's been taken care of. You have an appointment with two weeks of complete bed rest to keep. Julio's orders. Great. Just great. Now remember, when we switch control of the shuttle system to you, launch this ship and fly it directly over the mock-up in the Everglades. I know, I know, Mayhem. We've been over this a hundred times. Fly below radar, the chase planes will follow me, see our mock-up, and think I've crashed. By the time they figure out that mock-up is a phony, we'll have disappeared. Oh, I thought you might want another pillow, Matt. T-Bob, look out! Whoa! I think this cure is more dangerous to my health than the snake bite to get to Cape Canaveral and meet the team. Oh, no, you don't. You're suffering double vision, partial paralysis, and fever. Matt, you'd be a danger to yourself and to the mission. The answer is no. Uh, well, if I can't play, I'll coach, Julio. Come in, Alex. Sector here. I used Dragonfly to rendezvous with the team while you were asleep, Matt. Hope you don't mind. I get benched and everyone deserts me. What's your ETA at Cape Canaveral? ETA, 15 minutes, and we have full clearance to land from the PNA. There's a pre-launch test run scheduled for the shuttle this afternoon. Perfect opportunity for mayhem. Matt! The fever's flaring up again. You boys get to work. We'll keep tabs on you via computer link. Stop Venom, guys. If mayhem steals the shuttle, he'll threaten national security. All right, Rex, now! Stiletto, fire! This is Cape Canaveral. General Wilson promises you full support. If you need anything, just ask. But I have to tell you guys, Security has checked this base thoroughly, and we found nothing. Thank you, Tower. We'll keep that in mind. Now, I suggest you clear the area of all support personnel. Roger. You figured wrong, Mayhem. We're under fire. Defense mode. Minus two minutes. We have a hold on the test. Press 
personnel, stand by. Mass reports intruder alert. Those meddlers, Rax, hit the override. Countdown resumed. Now let's get out of here before that shuttle fries us like hot dogs on a grill. Vanessa, she's all yours. Rendezvous as soon as you're clear. Activating launch controls. Rax, get mask off my tail. Give me half a chance. I'll teach you to mess with an ex-test pilot. Where'd he come from? It's all yours, Ace. That's one down. All personnel emergency evacuation. Shuttle is launching. Repeat, shuttle is launching. I think I'm a little late to call her this Bronco. Hang on, Dusty. For the barbecue. Jack Rabbit on. Thanks for the lift, partner. Matt, please respond. Venom has taken the shuttle and is headed for the Everglades. We'll never catch him in time. He's gone, and so's T-Bob. Where'd they go? There's your answer, but who is flying it? We'll stop Venom, T-Bob. Shuttle should be coming in our sights. But I can't fly this thing. I'll show you. Activate the laser controls. Whoa! Wrong button, T-Bob. Fire controls on your right. We'll be picking up the shuttle any time now. There she blows. Push on the joystick controls to sight. Ooh, we're locked on the booster rockets. I think. Matt? Matt? Fire, T-Bob! Fire! Oh, I hope this works! We're home free, Mayhem! Estimate rendezvous in 15 minutes! Oh, lasers! Fight! What was that? Mayhem, I've been hit! This hunk of junk's worthless now, Mayhem. Hurry up and get me out of here before the authorities show up. Darn craziest thing he's ever done. Will he be all right? Pretty steep dive they took. Huh? Oh, what happened? Oh, where's Matt? I thought we were goners for a moment there, T-Bob. You saved the shuttle and both of us. You were a pretty good pilot too, T-Bob. Maybe now Dad'll let me fly the Thunderhawk with you. Now wait just a minute. I tried to find Vanessa, but Venom had a head start. They got clean away, Matt. Without the shuttle. Thanks to all of you, especially T-Bob. I don't know what I'd do without you boys. Except maybe give you flying lessons. <laughs> T-Bob, look out for the puddle! T-Bob wouldn't be in this trouble if he'd remember one safety rule. Don't run around a pool. Water is slippery, and that makes it dangerous. Don't forget!